So we think it's day 22. <laughs> I don't even know don't right know now. Anymore. It's just all a blur. We're heading down to Dave's. We're almost to Dave's. We're almost to Dave's. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna stop at some thrift stores along the way. And Bucky's. Because, and Bucky's, because Dave expressly asked us to stop and get some of beaver nuggets of the white cheddar variety. We got stuff lying around in the back there, guys. This is, uh, yeah, we're basically the Clampets. We're basically the Clampets just going across America. But uh, stay tuned, it's gonna be fun, hopefully. So we've thrifted from the west coast to the east coast at this point. We're going down to Florida, then we're going southern back through like Louisiana and Texas. Yeah. What have you learned, Don, from thrifting or picking across America so far? Definitely some thrift stores are better than others. That's for sure. Um, a lot higher prices in some areas. And the trip from leaving Dick Kevin's, yeah. literally haven't found much. Of yeah, we haven't found much here all. going through North Carolina or South Carolina. I really love, personally, I love going through like the college towns and stuff because I like finding jerseys and hats and sports stuff. And I, Don knows this, I'm geeking out when we're going by some random stadium. Like we had our hotel by the Liberty University Stadium yeah, and I was like, this is cool. Which thrift stores we're gonna stop off at if it has a college in it or a professional team. Knows. Yeah, because I like to look for that he professional team. That stuff. Also, it's random. We are going into these cities randomly. Not We're just picking random cities, yeah. some of the bigger cities, and kind of going to random thrift stores. So we, we obviously don't know which thrift stores are the best in any given city, and it's a random day. So if whatever city you're in in the U.S., learn your area. Learn your area. Figure out where the best places are. Maybe it's not a thrift store. Maybe it's garage selling. Maybe it's an auction house. I really, really do believe going through this that there are things to find everywhere in the U.S. at good prices. Maybe if I was in South Carolina or North Carolina, I couldn't do the things I like to pick as much. Maybe I'd have to get more into jeans or, yeah, or get so more into something else because that's what's available here at good prices. But I believe there's stuff everywhere. I really do. There's well, we an abundance have, of stuff out there. We have there. two days of yard sales with Kev, uh, Dave. Yeah, that we're doing here. The uh, so one down here in Florida with him, and then yep. I guess we're going to have we're gonna go yard selling on the Saturday after FlipCon in North Carolina. Orlando, I think we're doing garage sales, and then Charlotte, we're doing garage sales. Yeah. So we're gonna see totally different areas for garage sales than what we're used to. And um, I've heard have, North Carolina have garage selling is good. Stuff back. Yeah, There's, this is getting ridiculous. This is the, like we had to sell some to Kevin. We did sell a ton to Kevin, yeah, and then we, we already sent three big boxes back. She um, got them. They got there, so I was so happy. They got there safely. Only that. one box was severely like mangled. mangled. Oh, my, oh my gosh. I'm like, oh my goodness. I did a very good tape job on it. That's why that She's a great shipper. If you guys have bought on Whatnot, uh, Don does all the shipping on Whatnot. We probably need to do a Whatnot auction too when we get home, which is good. This is exciting. We got a lot of stuff to work with. In two weeks, we figured it up. It's about two weeks still till we get home because yeah. next week is FlipCon. Then we have like five, six days maybe to get back to Las Vegas. So, so we're going to thrift. And we're going to thrift. Two yard sales is where we'll get the most stuff at the same time. Yeah, that's why we're going so we to have to stuff So we will have to figure back. out what we're going to do with it then. But um, uh, yeah, we probably, we got our 30% sale going on so we can uh, replace some of the stuff that's been on our eBay yeah, for a while. You can make offers too. If you go stuff. check out our yeah, eBay, we have stuff for sale. We're trying to clear out some space. We're trying to get rid of our storage unit, which I don't know it's, it is the best idea now, but um, and use our eBay room for everything. We're trying to be smart about this because every time we've ever had storage in our life, we just it junk it up here. and we never use it correctly. I don't know if you guys are like that. But we're gonna stop, uh, I think we're gonna stop in Savannah, Georgia to do some thrifting, so let's go. We are at our first stop thrifting and we're in Georgia, Savannah, Georgia. My first time ever in Georgia, Don as well. These are $75 a piece, way, way overpriced. These aren't very desirable. People do like them refurbished, but that's way too much money. This is a 64 ounce Playmaker Under Armour water bottle. 4 dollars is a little pricey. Knew they go for about 22. I think used, I can get about 15, 16, 17. So I'm gonna pick this up, plus shipping. We are trying to go a little outside of our comfort zone. This is a Linux Radio, $6.99. Knew these go for about 60. A white version of this went for $25 right here. We're gonna try it out, probably get 25, 30 plus shipping on it. I have to say, I've never seen jeans with these many holes in it. That's impressive, honestly. I was definitely interested in this Georgia Bulldogs Nike hat, 2.99 is not a bad price, but look at the big stains on it. Had to pass, unfortunately. It's 
So we're in St. Augustine, Florida, near Dave. Uh, there's a Bucky's here, and just FYI, we're on International Golf Cart Lane. Is that the name Parkway. of the street? Parkway. Oh, Parkway. Gary. Excuse me, Parkway. What's the difference between a lane and a Parkway? Can we park here? I don't think so. Think about it. Bucky's, guys. Bucky's is 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 kind of like church now, honestly. Well, Dave gave us a grocery <laughs> list. Yes, Dave wants us to get uh, the white cheddar beaver nuggets because the spicy ones, the far superior give ones, indigestion. give him indigestion. And diarrhea. And, and which includes diarrhea, guys, if you didn't know. So we're, we're going to Bucky's. And, ooh. If you see that up there, guys, that's a Costco. It just opened. And they're here to compete with Bucky's, I guess, because Bucky's is kind of like a gas station Costco. Slash grocery store. Yeah, Bucky's is everything. Like they have home decor. They, they have do. all sorts of stuff. Yeah, more home decor than the thrift stores do around here. I'm dropping my <laughs> phone. <laughs> Bucky's is like the target of gas stations. You go in, for one thing, we went to get those nuggets or whatever they're called for Dave. I got a drink. We got some of these uh, cinnamon almonds, which are actually pretty good. I wasn't sure at first, but I like beer. them. And beer. Look at this. This is world's best recipes right here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so starstruck. Oh, oh my gosh. I hear he has almost 1,500 followers. I know, you're almost monetized. I watched oh my the gosh. podcast and I hear you name <laughs> drop that like every five minutes. That's my goal. Here's, uh, here's the famous DVDs, guys. $4 free shipping each. Endless supply, guys. That's where he makes all the money. Here's, if you guys need an, uh, what was it? What did we decide it was? MC Piggy. An emotional support pig for your death pile, right? Death, the pile's... death pile support pig, yeah. Yeah, guys, don't feel bad about your death pile. It's completely normal and natural. And you should support uh, Dave here as he tries to become Kevin and sell <laughs> plushes um, to to his followers. Every man has a dream. And mine is to be Kevin. <laughs> They're going too fast. Beat Saber. Dude, this music's good. Oh, my. Wait, no. Getting hit by the blocks. Wait. Where I have to move out of the way? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're coming at me. <laughs> it's the ocean. It's the ocean. We can go skinny dipping. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Channel who want to see this. Yeah, dozens of people want to see this. This is a beach, guys. Flagler. There's a pier. You can go on the pier, but they charge you money. What is it actually? American that? Arbitrage here, eating his Dad. ice cream. With his kids. Mm -hmm. Hiding Tina. No. <laughs> Perry's your dad. <laughs> what? Is it? What's actually in it? What's in moose tracks? Moose. Moose and their tracks. Moose poop. Dad. It's moose poop. Dad. Take a little. Perry's frolicking on the beach. <laughs> do the Baywatch thing. You're Hasselhoff. I don't remember how to do that. Hasselhoff. <laughs> running through the water. <laughs> Whoa! Oh that is kind of deep here. It is deep. That is deep here. It is, yeah. Don't kick water on people. We're at the beach, guys. Look at this, man. We're just living. We're just living, guys. We're on the beach. Look at that. Dave threw a rock. Never. We got a category five hurricane cloud structure up here to the left. And yeah, this does. Lightning. I don't trust any of this. And we're heading let's, towards yeah, this. Yeah, let's correct? drive straight into it, I think. Yeah, I think let's gun it. Let's gun it. Like I think speed will. The clouds are like pouring over a mountain on the left. Here, but there's no mountains. But there's no Florida. mountains, yeah. The flashlight is telling you to turn around danger. Yeah, that flashing, really? light, flashing light means tornadoes ahead. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. You know, guys, it's been a good run. I appreciate y'all watching the vlog. <laughs> you see them like they're like rolling over. They're rolling over nothing, though. Some sort of atmosphere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that has pretty something cool. to do with science. Yeah, yes. Science happening over there. What's Let's up? Let's go into it. Just Let's go investigate. Yeah. That's what I would do. <laughs> Let's investigate, guys. Yeah, this is. This is something you would do if you were like if we were gone for a while and you and you're oh, like would. let's just go to the beach and you see this and you're like all right I'm driving. Honestly, I've told Don this. I'm very fascinated by tornado chasing. Honestly, yes. I don't know what I'm scared of most things, but not that. This is actually fascinating to me. It's probably super. It's actually not dangerous, guys. I think we're okay. 